I confess, the first time I met a Pakistani was in London in 1982. He went to college with me and we fought and argued about all kinds of things, especially partition and Kashmir. I confess we also became the best of friends. His son is getting married next year and I confess that I'm thinking of traveling to that country to attend the ceremony. At the London School of Economics, where I went to college, I confess I met many other Pakistanis and most of them became good friends. I confess that I laughed at many of their jokes, some of them quite rustic and earthy. I confess to learning how to discuss serious subjects in Hindi Urdu, thanks to all the arguments I used to have with Pakistani friends. I confess that in 1983, I stopped a Pakistani whom I knew to be religious from eating food that was haram. Is that pork, he asked, the worker serving us at the LSE canteen. No love, they're only sausages, she had replied while loading his plate. I confess that I once helped a Pakistani whom I knew to be religious to have his first drink. I confess that on a London street in 1986, I met and conversed with the Pakistani poet Ahmed Faraz. I confess to feeling slightly overawed. I confess to falling in love with the raspy voice of Faiz Ahmed Faiz when I first heard it on a cassette in a Pakistani friend's hostel room in 1983. I confess to hunting down Faiz's books published in India by Raj Kamal Prakashan and spending hours reading and listening to his poetry when I should have been studying economics. I confess that I recently met the Hindi scholar who transliterated Faiz's Sare Sukhan Hamare from Urdu to Devnagari. I confess that I unthinkingly sent to friends on WhatsApp a video recording of a beautiful poem, Bahut Der Kar Deta Hu Main, by a poet I did not immediately recognize, but who turned out to be the Pakistani Munir Niazi. I confess this might have been soon after the surgical strikes. I confess that as an undergraduate in London in 1983, I dined at the house of a Pakistani friend where I met Benazir Bhutto, who was then in exile. I confess that I got drunk and asked her what her name was. She was not pleased. I confess to learning the Urdu script from Akaida, a book for children, a Pakistani friend gave me in 1984. I confess to helping another Pakistani friend learn Devnagri in 1986 when he fell in love with an Indian woman. I confess to sharing on Twitter a folk song from Balochistan by Akhtar Chanal and Komal Rizvi. I confess to doing this before Prime Minister Modi made it okay for folks in India to like the Baloch. I confess that I got together with Pakistani students to set up the South Asia Forum at the LSE. I confess that in 1985, we held a cultural function for Indians and Pakistanis where we jointly celebrated the life of Shahid Bhagat Singh. I confess to being in touch with many Pakistani friends, mostly from my college days. I confess to attending a condolence gathering in Karachi for one of my friends who died well before his time. I confess to attending the wedding there of another friend in April 2016, after terrorists from Pakistan had attacked Pathan Court. I confess to insisting my mother visit Mohinjodaro. I confess that she had a good time. I confess to thinking the Sindh Club in Karachi is grander and nicer than the Gymkhana in Delhi or Bombay. I confess to having laughed when the distinguished father of a friend in Karachi told his worried wife in 1997 that there would be no problem with me visiting the shrine of Heer in Jhang, home of the terrorist group lashkar e -Jhangvi. Their problem is with Shias. Siddharth is a Hindu, he had said. I confess to laughing when a friend of mine in Karachi messaged me that his first thought when someone mentioned the recent surgical strike was to ask why the surgeons at Liaquat Medical College had struck work. I confess to having helped organize an India-Pakistan friendship concert featuring the late Ustad Salamat Ali Khan and two senior Indian musicians whom I would rather not name in case someone tries to stop them from performing in India again at Columbia University in New York in 1990 when there was tension between the two countries. I confess that when a Pakistani friend of mine from college was diagnosed with cancer, I flew a third of the way across the world in 2015 to attend a small reunion 
that I knew would gladden his heart. I confess that I joined him and a few other Pakistanis later in an impromptu protest outside the Pakistani High Commission in London against the murder of Sabine Mahmood and that some of us drowned our sorrow at the local pub afterwards. I confess that a Pakistani friend of mine from Karachi sat with my brother, sister and me in Delhi as we said last prayers for our late father in 2014. I confess that my friend was not even a Hindu. I confess to complaining about our fundamentalists when I last met my Pakistani friends. I confess that they complained about their fundos too and that we both cribbed about our inability to do much about any of them.